Hi guys, it's Aaliyah. Welcome back to my channel. Here is my next journal for the Etsy restock that I am doing. Um, I kind of went back to basics with this one, meaning that when I first started junk journals, I liked to do the traveler's notebook size. Um, so this one actually measures, it's four and a half across and it's eight and a half. It's like, it's right under eight and a half, um, up and down. I think the traveler's notebook size might be four and a quarter by eight and a quarter. I'm not sure. So this is slightly larger, but it's basically, you know, the same, um, style, so to speak. Uh, so let me just move this out of the way. Let's just get right in. So this one here. I've made um, with the cover is just uh, Tim Holtz cardstock. I added a little label, and this is actually called the Blue Label Journal, just because when it comes to naming the journals for like the Etsy listing, sometimes I'm really not that creative, so I just call this the Blue Label Journal. Um, I did a little. Uh, I this isn't uh, sorry silk; it's some kind of ribbon, but I put that under there. There's the back, just plain. Um, and the inside cover is plain too, but you can definitely add or do whatever you want to do on the inside if you want to add pictures or whatever. Um, so on the front page here is one of those uh, three tucks um, pockets. Here I have one of the tags that I made with the paper dolls, and there's room to journal on the back of that. Um, this is a letter from the bookmaker. Here we have a little vintage recipe card, and it is blank, so you can definitely use this to journal on. And then the pockets I lined with some lacy ribbon, as you can see, right there and there, there, and then I did some ones that hang down. And this flips up, so you can definitely journal under here. Uh, this is a Tim Holtz ephemera piece. And why do I always think I'm not in frame? Oh no, I am, okay. And here, I mean, in this one, in my traveler's notebooks, a lot of the times I do put, make sure there's lots of journaling room because I feel like traveler's notebooks, because of the size, they're supposed to, you know, travel with you. So in doing so, I'm sure you want pages to journal on. So I do have nice pages. Um, let me just move this aside. Um, here we have, this is a vintage office memo type thing. And that gets tucked under there. And then in this pocket here, we have a Travail Pursuit card and a playing card. This is not vintage though, um, but it's just, I like the picture on it. And this is the one of those that opens into the full sheet so you can actually hide something here or you can do some secret journaling all over and you know when you tuck it all back in nobody will know what's actually inside so that's pretty cool and let's tuck those back inside there we have some blue paper this is a little corner flip so you can do some journaling there I just decorated it with this is a Tim Holtz and this is some uh, just lace. Here's a, I think this is a keyboard punch card, but plenty of room to write on the back of that. This is a vintage playing card. Here is a little things to do and you can, you know, make your lists blank on the back, but you can definitely journal on the back of that. And that gets tucked right in there. Um, here we have, I, this is a leftover scrap from the cover, I believe. And of course, you know, you don't want to throw that away. So I just put some coffee dye paper on the back of it and that way you can journal on it. And then on the other side, here's one of those tags that I made, um, using all the different scraps. So that's really neat. And here, oh, you know, what? this is the middle of the signature. So on the inside, we have a couple of to-do lists. And then here, this is, um, looks like a bridge scorecard. Not, not a tally card, but like, you know, like when you're actually writing down the scores and stuff. 
So that's that would be fun to journal on, and that tucks right in there. And then we have a little envelope, and in the little envelope, we have a little Tim Holtz tag, and you can actually journal on the back of it if you want. And then tuck it back inside there, and yeah, that's just a pocket. I didn't know if it flipped up or anything. And here we have a little, um, it's in another language, and I'm not sure exactly what language that is. Cute, though. That's the baby's bottle, I believe, and the dog took it. <laughs> um, and it wasn't posted, so I'm not sure. And there's no writing on it. Don't know what year it might be from, but it looks pretty vintage. And again, another cutoff. And I um, added some coffee dyed paper so you can journal on the back of that. Here's one of those tags that I made. There's nice um, fabric on the front and then you can journal on the back. And then more journaling space there. You can actually also use this as a bookmark because it's long enough. And another little flip here. And then this one, we have another to-do list. This is a vintage RSVP um, letter from 1947, and I did win a bunch of these in, um, or a lot, not a lot, but a lot <laughs> of um, these uh, RSVPs, and it, it's all for the same event, all to the same person, all from 1947, November, um, and basically everybody was just RSVPing to this person um, if they could come to the event or not, and I forget what this person said. Um, they accept with pleasure. So, yep, they will be attending the event. Yep. So these people are definitely going, or they definitely went. Okay, so I'm going to tuck that back inside. And here is one of the altered um, playing cards that I did. I used one of the little paper dolls. And then you can journal on the back of that. And this is another one of those full fold-outs. Uh, and we have another vintage recipe card. And then in this one, we have a Tim Holtz journaling card there and a playing card. And here's one of those, one of those flip ups there. Another of those vintage office memo receipts. Um, this is, I don't know what these are, I just call them sideways library cards because that's what they kind of remind me of. Um, but definitely great for journaling. And these are Tim Holtz um, ephemera pieces. Not vintage, but perfect for, you know, decorating. Or, you know, if you glue this on, you can make a nice little tuck spot right there. So I always like including random pieces of different types of ephemera because you can use them to make your own tuck spots and things like that. And that is the end of that one. So this is available for sale in my Etsy if you are interested. I will leave the link to this journal in the description box below. Um, and I actually, I am the home stretch. I just have two more journals to do videos on and then I'll be able to release them all at once. So <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this walkthrough of this journal. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in my next video. Bye.